Hey folks, Pixie here, and I'm on the Minecraft Open server. Yay! Um, wanted to show you the exploration world that's live now. Uh, so this is the spawn of uh, New Haven, or Haven as it's uh, now gone back to being called. We still have our Christmas decorations up, snow of everything, awesome Christmas tree, and a big hat on top of the portal tower, a big Santa hat. So anyway, we've got our exploration world now. Um, the problem we face with being a big Minecraft server is that um, we can't have maps get too huge and stay for a while because they accumulate stuff, get too big for the server and the server starts getting overly buggy and lagging and things. But since Minecraft has now become uh, more focused on adventuring and exploring, that's not really convenient for a multiplayer server to have to restrict world size. So the solution we've come up with is Serenity, this main world, is border limited. Currently the border is 2,000 blocks um, in each direction from spawn, so it's uh, 4,000 from one end to the other. Um, and the border will expand by small increments periodically. And so this world has become a building world. Um, you can still farm and mine or whatever you want here, and sorry about that MSN noise in the background there. Um, but we've added an exploration world and if I come through here through the portal tower you'll see that what was once the nether portal has now become a pretty leafy portal portal to the exploration world ooh trips that's cool uh, so the exploration world if I hop through is not border restricted it's completely free and it's uh, specifically for exploring rampaging running around you know, Columbus griefing off in a particular direction until you find something really awesome and for gathering resources. So you can use TNT here, you can strip mine, you can nature grief, do things like leaving floating trees, clearing beaches, you can take over villages, you can build if you want, you can do anything you like and then once a month this world gets reset. Um, the end has already been uh, the dragon has already been killed. They did that within like an hour of, of the world going live, which is crazy. So we're running a plugin that resets the end every 60 minutes if the dragon has been killed and if the, the world has been empty for 60 minutes. So uh, roughly every hour the world will reset, the end will reset rather, so you can kill the dragon again. And we are hoping the players will be courteous and let new players have a chance at killing the dragon on their own and, you know, share. So this is where you join the exploration world and this is a it was supposed to be a doom tower that I was building, um, but it kind of took on a world of its own, a uh, mind of its own rather, and um, went a bit fence happy. Uh, but I do like the nether brick with the dark wood and the mycelium. It's the mycelium block. And it's another little patio. Let me go down again. And this is the ground floor, and I've been griefed. Epic. Okay. This is how we check griefings. Ah, he destroyed the nether brick and then couldn't place it again because of spawn protection. Okay, I'll make a note of that name and uh, screenshot that. So this is my tower come up through here and uh, why is that blocked off there? Who's been doing silly things? Varro Commando Screen that too Okay, so this is the portal back down into New Haven, into Haven, and that's my crazy tower from the outside. So there's a nether attached to, to this world as well, as well as the end. I guess a couple of people have been here building little shroom houses, and I think everybody's just run off in a particular direction and started exploring. Um, now, if I go over in this direction, towards where the sun is setting, roughly. There's something pretty cool up here that I screenshotted and pasted on Twitter yesterday. Here it is. It's a funny shaped hill with a big archway in the middle that's caused by a ravine. So you've got a hill with a ravine running straight through the middle. 
Isn't that cool? It's just really weird. Ooh. Things down there. But yeah, I like this hill. It looks even better when the terrain behind it is generated. That's interesting. Mineshaft. So anyway, that's all I wanted to show you, that the exploration world is now live on the Minecraft Workbench server, so hop on, come over, and uh, gather resources to your heart's content. Um, there's a bunch of awesome stuff being built over on Serenity, the main world, that I will get around to showing eventually. But that's all for today. So enjoy, have fun, hope you hop on and say hi to everyone, and I'll uh, see you next time. Bye!